Hey, it's Patrick from JMP Cycles, and let's talk about camshafts, specifically those for twin cam and Milwaukee 8 Harley Davidson models. And if you're looking to upgrade that cam in your motorcycle, one of the major decisions you're gonna have to face is do I go with a gear drive setup or do I go with a chain drive setup? We're gonna try to make that a little easier for you. We're gonna walk you through how both of those cam chests work and which one could be right for you. So let's take a little closer look. All right, let's take a look at the chain drive setup first. And what we're looking at here is a 2012 twin cam. And this is what's gonna come stock no matter what year twin cam you have or no, or no matter what year Milwaukee 8 you have, it's going to have a chain drive setup somewhat similar to this. This is the pinion shaft coming off the crank and it basically powers the cams. As you can see you have a chain running up to another sprocket. Your cams are behind here. This big old sprocket turns. There's a chain on the back connecting your cams and this is just all spinning, being driven by this chain. Now down here, it has a tensioner. This is a hydraulic tensioner. Hydraulic fluid, i.e. oil, keeps pressure on this so it doesn't get loose and slack. Now if you're familiar with uh, some of the woes Harley has had in the past, you know that these things can tend to wear out, specifically on the 99 to 06 models, because they actually had a spring tensioner here. That was not a very good setup. One of the other things was the chain was a little bit different on those spring setups, and it would cause excessive wear. Basically, by the time you got to 25 or 30,000 miles, your tensioner would start to wear out causing you problems if you didn't replace it. In 07, they went to this hydraulic setup here, which is much better. When you go to put cams back in your motorcycle, you can just put cams in here and keep this chain driven setup. You don't have to switch to anything. You can keep it in the stock setup like this. And this is actually on an 03 that originally had the older style chain drive setup on it. And this is a pretty hot rod setup. And what we're looking at is gears versus a chain, where on the stock setup or the chain drive setup, you'd have a chain running around here and a tensioner. Obviously, we don't have that anymore. We have a big gear here, a small gear here. So this small gear is on the pinion shaft of the flywheel, similar to the sprocket on the stock setup. And then we have a gear on the cam. And on the back side of this plate, instead of having another small chain and sprockets, these cams are both gear driven on the back side. So everything is direct drive here. And one quick note, no matter which you choose, whether it's gear drive or chain drive, I recommend swapping out to a pump and a plate that is upgraded like this SNS one here. It's the same amount of work while you're in there, no matter what kind of cam system you choose, upgrade those pumps and plates. All right, now that we've seen the two basic setups, let's go over pros and cons to help you make a decision on what works best for you. Let's start with the chain drive setup. First thing about that is it's cheaper than a gear drive setup, pretty significantly cheaper. So if you're budgetary minded, that should be probably the way you end up going. Also, it offers more flexibility with crank run out. This is the biggest factor in choosing chain drive versus gear drive. To run a set of gear drive cams, you have to have less than 3,000 to run out in your crank. And that's when that crankshaft is sitting there and spinning, how much wobble it has on the access. With a chain drive setup, you actually can have up to the serviceable limit by Harley-Davidson, which is around 12,000. So if you don't have a crankshaft that's within that 3,000s limit, you're pretty much gonna have to go with chain drive. Now, the con to the chain drive would be it actually is probably gonna make a little bit less horsepower. It takes a little more power to turn that, that tension system. And we're talking probably three horsepower here, but if you're looking to make a real hot rod setup, the chain drive isn't going to get you the best, like most amount of horsepower out of your engine. Conversely, gear drives, they are much more efficient. If you're looking for the ultimate in horsepower and the ultimate in hot rod setup, that gear drive setup is gonna be the way you wanna go. It takes less effort, so to speak, with the engine to turn that over, turns over very, very smoothly, and it is the class of horsepower and class of hot rod setup. Cons, like I mentioned before, you can only have basically up to 3,000s run out in the crankshaft to be able to run that. If you don't have that, you just simply can't run those. They also cost more. There's an increased cost switching over to the gears that you don't have with the chain drive. Something else to note, even if you have the 3000s or less run out in your crankshaft, that can change. 
Stock flywheels on Harley Davis on Harley Davidson's have been known to shift. So if you have that 3000th run out, you put your gear drives in there and that flywheel shifts and starts to wobble on the bottom little sprocket, it's gonna eventually either start to put excessive wear and make those gears noisy, or if it shifts a lot, it'll start to shear teeth off of those gears. So my recommendation, if you're not gonna put a aftermarket flywheel setup in there, like an SNS bottom end, or have your crankshaft trued and welded, you're probably better off sticking with those chain drives. If you're going whole hog, building the bike, you know, to be a monster, putting that crankshaft setup in there, then gear, gear drives are gonna be the way for you. As always, if you have any other questions, feel free to hit us up and drop us a comment. Go work on those motorcycles.